if he's falling asleep. Hello and welcome to Movies with Mum. I'm Conrad. And I'm Mum. In each episode we take you on our non-regular mum and son movie dates where we'll review the film. And the ice cream. Hello Mum. Hello, Conrad. How are you today? A bit weary. Why is that? Been busy this morning putting up Christmas decorations. Ah, you're the first on your street, I think. Yeah, but had to be done this weekend. So family gatherings. Speaking of which, what are we watching today? <laughs> We're going to see Knives Out. Yes, very and I hope special. our Christmas is like that. Yeah, a very special family gathering. Yeah, I hope our Christmas isn't like that. No. No. It's a good old-fashioned murder mystery in the style of Agatha Christie. And it's got rave reviews, you said. Yes, it's proved very popular with critics. It's got an all-star cast. Mm Mm-hmm. You've got Daniel Craig as the sleuth. James Bond himself. Mm. Not for much longer, I don't think. No, I think one more and he's out. Mm, Getting a bit old. Well, yeah. Then you've got Jamie Lee Curtis, the scream queen herself. Yeah, I like her. Tony Collette. Yeah, she's brilliant. In everything she's in, practically. Yeah, absolutely. And some more seasoned veterans like Don Johnson. Mm Mm-hmm. Christopher Plummer, who we've always loved. Yeah, he's great. Although I think he's playing the victim, so I don't think he will last very long. (laughs) Chris Evans is in there, Captain America. Blimey. So, yeah, it's quite the all-star cast. I think what they're going for is kind of those 70s Agatha Christie all-star line-up Yeah, they were always brilliant. I've always loved Agatha Christie. She's amazing. Yeah, I think I've only seen one. Only seen one? I think so. Death on the Nile, I've seen that one. I don't think I've seen any of the others. Of course, we went to see Murder on the Orient Express. I was going to say, that was brilliant. We loved that, didn't we? We thought they might bring another one out this year, but they didn't, did they? No, they're working on it, though. Yeah, they're working on Death on the Nile, aren't they? Again, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So this is directed by Ryan Johnson, who last thrilled us with his interpretation of Star Wars in The Last Jedi. Oh. Yeah. Less said about that, the better. Well, quite. But he's back on home turf with this, actually, because his first film was an independent film called Brick, which was also a murder mystery, Mm. starring... Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh, right, And the quirk with that one was that it was shot in the style of and with dialogue in the style of a 30s or 40s film noir. Oh, right. But set at a high school, so... Oh, right, that's unusual. Yes, it was kind of odd that all these people were speaking in this way, but it was Mm. kind of quirky, kind of fun. So he's done these sort of crime thrillery things before, but this one is supposedly intricately plotted, devilishly twisty turny. Oh, so I wonder if we we'll guess it. Well, that's the thing. They do say that if you pay attention in the first ten minutes, it will be very clear oh. what's going on. Well, it might last ten minutes before I fall asleep. Well, there's that. <laughs> Because we had a very busy day yesterday. We went out for a meal yesterday, didn't we? Oh, yes, it was your anniversary. A wedding anniversary, yeah. And we snuck into the cinema to get some ice cream. (gasps) What was there? (laughs) German chocolate cake. German chocolate cake. Oh, Oh, what a lovely end to a day. Yes. So will there be any left for us today? And if there is, should we have it or should we have something new? Mm. There is a new one there, so I don't know. There is. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> what shall we go for? <laughs> Two different scoops, I think. Yeah, one it's, of each, I it think. It's criminal not to have German chocolate cake when it's there. Exactly. I think we'd be letting ourselves down if we didn't have it twice. Mm. <laughs> we'd regret it. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's got to be a year since we had German chocolate cake. Yeah. Silly world! <laughs> Oh dear, that was very weary, wasn't it? Yeah. (laughs) 
So I'm looking forward to a sort of Agatha Christie style thriller. Mm. Certainly, it looks like it's got a very spunky cast really enjoying themselves, delivering exquisite dialogue. Yeah, it does look... The trailer was fantastic, so, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm sure it will, and I love Agatha Christie anyway. I've read Mm. all her books. Gosh. Every single one, I love them. Mm. So, yeah, it'd be good. And a lot of people have been saying, well, is this a parody of Agatha Christie because it's so funny, but they forget that Agatha actually had a pretty wicked sense of humour herself. She did. (gasps) There aren't any spaces. Oh, you're joking. We'll have to see what we can find. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, we got up there, look. Let's go up there. Don't run run these these people. (laughs) No, don't run them over. Knives out. Because that won't be much of a murder mystery, would it? No. No, so we'll see what we decide to get in the ice cream and we'll let you know later. Mm, Bye for now. Bye. And we're back. The mystery is solved. But (laughs) Mum, what did you think of Knives Out? I thought it was very good. Did you? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did enjoy it. I wasn't quite sure of Daniel Craig's accent. Oh, yes. (laughs) I thought that was a bit... It wandered around the south a little bit and sometimes <laughs> came home to old Blighty occasionally. <laughs> it did, yeah. But, yeah, good story. Uh, lots of very interesting characters in it. Yeah, they all seemed to be enjoying themselves, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. There wasn't enough of the family, though. You had such a great cast of characters, mm. including, I forgot, Michael Shannon playing somebody who's fairly timid and not terribly intimidating, apart from a couple of key scenes. Because mm. usually he's vicious the guy with the walking stick and Jamie Lee Curtis as this matriarch you know when they're in scenes together it's wonderful but a lot of it was sort of scrambling around with the main character yeah I suppose so you didn't really get much of a feel of the family except the fact that they hated each other Mm. didn't they but otherwise no not too much background on them but it was a good story and I kind of guessed it I kind of got halfway to it you know what I mean but I Mm. did didn't get the whole way to it, did you? I didn't get all the way to it. There's an intervention by a character at one point that I immediately didn't trust. Yeah. It turned out for good reason, but I wasn't entirely sure why. Mm. So it was a good twisty-turny story. I have to say I kind of lost interest in the middle, to be did honest. You? Yeah. It did feel very long because it's over two hours. It's two hours ten. Mm. And it mm. did start to... F- Feel it, I thought, started yeah, it to did sag flag a, bit. a bit. Yeah, it did flag in the middle because I was starting to think, oh, come on, you could have wrapped it up quicker than this. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of hoping that it would keep the energy that it started off with because... Mm, that was very good. The opening act is really spiky, really funny, lots of great interactions with a great cast playing quirky characters that are all awful in different ways. <laughs> and, yeah, I was kind of hoping it would carry on like that, but then in the middle it sort of sagged. And it has this overriding political message there as well, which is never a bad thing, but it just felt as though it was being hammered home quite hard. Yeah. And not necessarily in a way that felt organic and natural to the story. No, no, I thought that too. But, you know, it was a good afternoon's film, I think. Yeah. It's not up to Agatha Christie. No, no, it's not. At all. No, it's kind of given a nod to her, but it's not kind of as good as her stories. Oh, why are we bonking? Uh, My car is bonging because it is less than three degrees C outside. Oh, no wonder it felt cold when we came out. Yeah, it's warning me that it may be slippery. Oh, which is very right. okay. Kind of Thank you very much, Carl. Yes. So, yeah, it's not Agatha Christie. It's not as cleverly written as that. No. I didn't have a eureka moment at the end and think, oh my God, that's so clever. I just no, thought, no. oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was obvious to me, but I didn't get it all. But yeah, it wasn't as cleverly written as 
Agatha Christie's are, but yeah. No. But it was Very fun, good. and yeah. we should applaud somebody creating something completely original mm. and netting an all star cast and getting them to play in a way that they clearly enjoyed and that um, we got to enjoy watching. So, yeah, it was. It was good fun. Yeah. Good fun. You don't get many original properties now, it's usually remakes or sequels. So. And even the dogs were good. Yes. <laughs> 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 the dogs were very good in it. I enjoyed that. Yeah, bit that was it. quite funny. It wasn't too satirical. There were a couple of moments that were quite satirical. Mm. There is a central quirk of one of the main characters that pays off mightily at the end. Yes. <laughs> but we will not say what it is, but it no, is hilarious. No, I didn't even know that was a condition. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's a good job my family haven't got it. <laughs> my word. <laughs> What's your sister's? Oh, yeah, my. Dear. Yeah, it could be mayhem, couldn't it? It never would mind. be, yeah. You'd never keep clean. <laughs> so, no. so what film you... out of ten? Ooh, six? Yeah, I thought about a six. Yeah. I don't think it's genius. It was passable afternoons entertainment. A bit long. Mm, yeah, very good, though. Worth yeah. going to see. I think it's worth going to see. It was a packed room in there today with us. Oh, it so was, yeah. Lots of people wanting to see a decent, serious film for adults for a change. Yeah. And what about the ice cream? Ice cream! Well, the German chocolate cake was still there. <laughs> it was. But mm. we wanted to honour our listeners because we know that you don't want to hear us gorging on German chocolate cake and giving it 10 out of 10 every week, so... No, we did try the other new one. We had one scoop of each. We, we were very did. good. We were very good. So we had the new one, which was minty... Ice or something. Mint, mint, I don't know about you, it just tasted like mouthwash to me. <laughs> yes, it was, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> like spearmint mouthwash. Spearmint mouthwash. It was supposed to be two different swirls of two different mints with white chocolate minty chips. I yeah. didn't get that, I did didn't you? get any white chocolate. No. I never tasted any white chocolate. It was just, mind you, it was quite refreshing after the German, German chocolate, chocolate cake. cake. <laughs> yeah, with a good palate cleanser. <laughs> it was, yeah. So, what is it they use at dinner parties for that? Is it sorbet? After dinner mints. Oh, is it after well, dinner mints? Oh, both, I don't know, probably. anyway. Yeah. So, what we, I mean, obviously the German chocolate cake are 10, but what yeah, about the mints? 12, I'd, I'd say, a 12 out of 10. Um, <laughs> I would say the mint on mint, minty mintness was minty. I'd give it a six as well. <laughs> would you? I'd only give that a two. Oh my. It was too much like mouthwash, wasn't it, for mm. anything? But yeah, it was different and it went quite nice with the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So basically, the film and the ice cream were light and refreshing, but nothing to write home about. That's right, absolutely, Conrad. Well, that works out neatly. Yeah. And what will we be watching next time? Next time we're going to see Gremlins. Mm, Gremlins is being re-released in 4K because, shockingly, it is 35 years old. 35. I know. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. Why aren't the lights on the house working? You ain't got any batteries. <laughs> no.